Good morning on Friday the 8th of October. And let's hope that the recent improved weather continues into the weekend. The Reverends Barbara and Jason hope that things are going well for you all and your families. And our opening sentence. Awaken us, Lord, to your love, your light and your leading. Amen. Today our readings are from Psalm 9 and Luke 11, verses 15 to 26. The first verse of today's psalm says, I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart and tell about the wonders you have worked. This is one of the songs which King David wrote. He wants to praise God and let others know that he's doing this because he's recognised all the wonderful things God has done and is still doing. And that didn't just happen in King David's time. Day in and day out, God continues to do wonderful things. But I just wonder, how easy it is for us to recognise that they are happening. I suppose the more we talk and communicate with God, the easier it might be to spot God at work, because we are close to him and hopefully on the same wavelength. But there are those people whose minds are already made up, who, for whatever reason, have decided that God doesn't exist. And if something God-inspired does happen, they look to explain it away in another way, rather than saying that it's God at work. In today's reading, we hear about Jesus doing yet another wonderful action in order to restore someone's speech. Yet there are those in the crowd who don't want to consider that this is God at work. Instead, they look for another explanation, one which seems plausible to them. Unbelievably, Instead of recognising and praising the goodness of God, they attribute Jesus' healing power to the devil. How offensive and insulting this is to God, which of course is who Jesus is, God in human form. The devil is always on the lookout to trick us, and unfortunately, we give him many opportunities to do this. In the case of today's reading, he's trying to hide Jesus' identity from the people and some of them are prepared to buy into this, which gives us all a timely reminder that we need to seek godly insight throughout all parts of our lives. And by doing that, we guard against the devil's tricks. As the psalmist said, The Lord is my light and my strength. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. And we now come to our next prayer. Merciful God, we thank you that through your love shown in Jesus, that we can have perfect peace and freedom. We offer to you our fears which have not yet been taken away by your true love. May we accept the hope which you have placed in the hearts of all people. In Jesus' name, Amen. And we now come to today's prayer points. Let's ask God's guidance for anyone who's facing a major decision in their life. Let's pray for anyone who's having doubts about their Christian belief. And let's pray for young people 
who are seeking a purpose in their lives. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not to a time of trial but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And our blessing for today. The Lord keep you safe in his grasp. Know that you can never fall out of his everlasting arms. And the Lord deliver you from all evil. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you all, today and always. Amen.